Hey guys, Kinek899 here. Just wanted to tell you to enjoy the following video about how to play Nidalee. Hey guys, Kinek899 here bringing you a video on how to play Nidalee. At level 1, I suggest taking your Q, Javelin Toss, slash Takedown. In Nidalee's human form, she tosses a ja her Javelin, dealing currently 60 magic damage on impact and the farther away it is the more damage it does for example it could do up to 250 percent damage in her cougar form her next attack deals additional damage based on how low her opponent is for stite on starting items I suggest taking a Dorn's Ring and two pots if you're new. I usually take Boots of Speed, three health pots, and a mana pot so that I could spam my Q. Nidalee plays mid. Usually she can play top, although I find it easier to play mid. Nidalee's W is bushwalk slash pounce literally lays a trap that does magic damage and it reveals the target for two seconds her e heals her or an allied champion and gives them twenty percent bonus attack speed for seven seconds in cougar form Nidalee's w is pounce and that's pretty self-explanatory and her E is swipe also pretty self-explanatory I'll show those later Nidalee's Q looks something like this it can annihilate minions although they can get your, in your way if you're trying to kill a champion which can be and will be very annoying when you play her at level 2, I suggest taking your E just for the heal. If you have to run, you can quickly heal yourself with your E while flashing. Like I said, her E right now heals her 61 damage health and that can save you. At level 3, put another point into your Q. At level 4, you can put a third point into your Q. At level 5, only then you put a point into your W. For max and this is to maximize your potential damage early. At level game. 4, if you can't put a point into your Q, put another point into your E. That way you can heal yourself and, well, I find it more useful than your W until right before you get your ultimate. Didn't go nowhere, never left, uh, you really thought that I was gone. As always, at level 6, point a point into your ultimate. Nidalee's ultimate changed her into a cougar, and in her cougar form, it changed her back to human. It has no cost and has a four second cooldown, so if you want, you can pounce, swipe, Q, which all have no cost in her cougar form. Do it again, change back to her human form to throw a javelin and heal yourself to get the 20% bonus attack speed and then you can change back to continue pouncing her cougar form makes wave clearing a lot easier if you know how to do it properly after getting your ultimate most players usually spend a lot of the rest of the game in cougar form just because it is convenient if they are ganking 
I'll show you. They usually use pounce to quickly get closer to the enemy. Nidalee's passive also forgot to say increases her movement speed when she goes through a bush. You usually want to come up behind the target, pounce on them, swipe, use your Q, pounce away, change back to your human form, heal, and throw a javelin. Although, like I said, if minions get in the way, it can be very annoying. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, favorite, subscribe, and leave comments. Conic899 signing off.